Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Georgie Man and I'm your friendly neighborhood anime and manga fan. I love all things anime and all things manga and I'm here today to discuss and talk about pretty much the Jujutsu Kaisen chapter 236 spoilers and leaks that got, you know, spread out throughout the interweb and I just wanted to talk about it because I'm currently on my lunch break and the second I, I read and saw the chapter, I was like, okay, I need to talk about it. I couldn't wait till like at home. I didn't want to wait and, you know, make a video and edit and all that. No, I'm going one shot. So you're going to see if I mess up, you know that's live baby like you know there's no editing nothing so but pretty much but the big takeaway of the chapter is that gojo's dead like no bidding around the bush gojo looks like he's dead he gets cut in half sukuna wins and this was a huge 180 from the last chapter which was pretty much juji and the rest of the crew they're like yeah he won he you know like sukuna was all heavily injured and gojo he connected his purple like hollow against you know uh, sukuna and we all thought that Sukuna was defeated. I mean, we the the it, the the chapter ends with saying Gojo wins, and it was like the fin the finale of the the battle of the strongest, and it was the finale because, I mean, this chapter just shows us like yeah, Gojo's dead, and the craziest part about it all is that we even see like him having like a dream sequence of all the people that he have died, like Nanami, uh, Ghetto, and like you know it's very sad and very like heartbreaking because Gojo. You know he's finally humbled down he realizes that he was not the strongest and even you know states that you know throughout it all he thinks that sukuna wasn't even going all out and that's the thing that i wanted you know a big point of mine that i want to you know establish is that i truly believe that if sukuna did not have the 10 shadows technique sukuna would not be gojo that's just my my thoughts but you know to be fair gojo's even saying like yeah i don't know if i could beat him and I would say that Gojo could defeat Sukuna if it was like Sukuna at his peak back in the day. But when it comes to now, there was no way. The second that Maharaja came into play in the Ten Shadows, I knew that Gojo was walking into that fight about to die. Because Maharaja is, you know, he has killed a previous wielder of the, the eyes. You know, like the Gojo's, you know, uh, eyes and the, the family, the, you know, his family branch. And he, you know, Maharaja has always been like an OP, you know, summoning technique. And I knew walking in, like I said, that Gojo was probably going to die. Like, and it makes sense because now that he's dead, you know, the plot can, you know, move forward. Because that's one of the contingencies with a lot of people is that, you know, Gojo always feels like, you know, you gotta, you gotta always take him out of the picture. I mean, in Shibuya, you guys have to, we literally have to seal him away so the plot can, you know, continue. Because he has that problem with, you know, Saitama and characters like those where he's so powerful that you have to write him out of the plot to, you know, make tension. And it's been working great. I mean, ever since Shibuya, the tension in Jujutsu Kaisen has been fantastic and why not? And I feel like, you know, Gojo, you know, the second he came back, he, he escaped the prison realm. I knew something was gonna happen in the sense that, you know, now he has to die because either he, there was a couple scenarios I saw either he had to fight uh, Sukuna and they were both gonna die and it would be like a crazy, you know, sacrifice kind of thing. Like maybe he blows himself up or he makes it so the two of them die but either way just eliminate i knew that gojo was gonna walk into that fight and end the fight probably either dead or hugely nerfed like to the point that he might not even be able to use curse technique uh which was something that i figured might happen especially when sukuna was talking about all the reverse healing that he was using and maybe his brain would have been like so scrum scrambled and not be able to like even use curse techniques or anything like that maybe like to that point like he just becomes a human like regular human but I also thought that, you know, maybe if Gojo does win, what if, like, he defeats Sukuna and then, I don't know where, you know, uh, Kenjaku shows up and just, like, kills him. Like, you know, in, like, a sneaky, you know, super slithery, like, you know, villainous way. But none of those things came through, through fruition except for Gojo dying. And now that's my big, t like, that's my big question. I was like, now that Gojo's dead, you know, now we can move the plot forward. We got to see what Gege has to cook because, you know... Gojo was the Superman and this giving me this keep giving me a lot of like vibes to like the death of Superman if you guys ever read the comic where pretty much Doomsday was this crazy machine that you know was destroying the entire Justice League and everybody nobody could stop him except for Superman Superman does beat Doomsday but in, the, in, in exchange he also dies and I thought that was going to be a like I said with Gojo defeating Sukuna and then both both of them die in the fight but no it's it now that you know he's still alive who's gonna stop him and the big like i said the god uh hajime the the lightning god he's gonna he looks like he's gonna step up and fight him and even sukuna's like don't disappoint me and throughout it all i kept thinking to myself like 
I know you're strong, Hajime, because you fought Hakari and it was a great fight. And you, you know, Hakari did beat you fair and square, but it was a crazy fight. And you never even used your, your curse kit technique. And you said it was a one time use. So I'm very like curious to see what that technique is because he's definitely going to use it on Skuna because that's what he's been, you know, hyping up and saying that he's going to do. So not knowing that, I wonder how heavily nerfed is Sukuna right now after the fight because he's not at his prime. They even said that he, you know, he might not be able to heal. His domain expansions might not be work working because, like, you know, Gojo shattered them so many times. So, like, this is a heavily nerfed Sukuna, which is a problem with my because it's like, okay, you guys beat him. Like, let's say, I don't, okay, so Hajime is not beating him. I don't think he's that he's gonna beat him at all. But let's say he were to have beat, like beat Go uh, Sukuna. He didn't beat Sukuna at his fullest, you know, and. You know that that's the big thing now that gojo's out of the picture is like whoever beats sakuna going forward there has to be an implication or something that makes it so like okay he either had a huge power up or sakuna's just so heavily nerfed that anybody can just step up and beat them which if that's the case it's like i would have uh, you know rather made it so like the two of them you know die or maybe you know sakuna does kill gojo but sakuna tells him like he, he like they both die in the sense but like gojo dies first so like sakuna becomes the, the winner he does win the fight which he does win the fight i mean gojo's dead no taking away i'm not taking anything away from sakuna he wins the fight definitely um and i think that my big component with this fight is that i feel like how can i the best way to describe this is like this is giving me the vibes where especially when sakuna tells go uh Gojo like I respect you you know I'll always remember your name I'll remember you and it was fun and all that it reminds me a lot of like when Madara for Naruto for any Naruto fans when Madara gets the power of the Sage of the Six Paths he becomes super powerful and it's this entity where you're like how are they gonna beat him and even Guy Sensei has to go you know he sits uh, open the eight gates Guy, uh, Guy Sensei fights him and he loses but he nearly kills him and it gave me that kind of vibe um but only way better though, because I would say that Gojo dying is better than Guy Sensei, you know, surviving. And you know, I'm not gonna, you know, jump in that kind of warms, but I didn't like that at all. Nobody really liked Guy Sensei surviving. That was dumb. Uh, but Gojo dying, I think, really puts the stakes for the characters. And now, you know, Juji, Yuta, and the rest of the crew, they have to step up. And if I had to guess who's gonna be the one that beats Sukuna, it would be thematically the one that makes the most sense, Juji. You know, he's the main character. And you know he we all we all always known that you know he he has like some you know he's built different and knowing that you know Kanjaku was you know controlling his mom he has some of that genes and maybe that's why he's so gifted obviously similar with Chozo and my whole thing is if Juji beats him it has to be in a way that it makes sense because I don't think Juji earns that win like he doesn't earn it like at all I don't think he's that strong I know. Juzo gave him some, you know, things to eat to make him stronger and why not, some like parts of his brothers. But even then, I, I think Juji needs a huge buff, like to be able to defeat Sukuna. And if it's if the Lightning God, if I think that the, the thing that the Lightning Guy will do Hajime is that he'll definitely injure Sukuna very, very bad. Like he'll probably injure him with a curse technique to the point that, you know, Sukuna is like, okay, he, Sukuna is going to win the fight. Okay. But I think, you know, Hajime will make a good showing in that fight and, you know, make, make sure that we put some respect on his name, you know, because he is cool. He's a good, you know, powerful sorcerer, definitely. You know, I would say top five potentially currently. Um, but I mean, if he doesn't get the job done, I mean, who, who walks in there? You know, Hawkery, uh, Juta, because besides them two, I don't see anybody up in that level. Not Juji, not nobody. And if Juji works to defeat Sukuna, that's where it's like, okay, well, did you really earn that, you know, W or did you not? Like that's, and I don't like that when it comes to like, you know, which shows where I only won because my enemy was that weak and stuff like that. Like, I don't like that, but it would make thematically sense if Juji beats Sukuna and just finally like, you know, sticks it to him. I would, pref what I, like I said, I, I would have preferred it if, you know, Sukuna beats Gojo, but in doing so like, you know, he, he wins the fight but maybe like Sukuna gets like he dies right after the fact like so they both die but it's not a draw like Sukuna does win um because I think you know Sukuna being alive there's a lot of scenarios we can play it out Kanjaku's still in the picture you know and if I, I would go as far as to say that if Kanjaku kills Yuta or Hakari or one of those two I think the, they just win like who's gonna stop Kanjaku like Maki I love Maki that's my favorite female in the, in the whole series i love her to death 
I don't think she's stepping up to, uh, you know, uh, uh, Kenjaku at all. Hakari and Yuta are the key to defeating them. And I think that, if, as well as Juji, to some regard. And I think that the way that Juji is going to defeat Sukuna is that he, I think he will find a way to get Megumi back. Because I don't see Megumi just, like, dying. Maybe he will. Who knows? I mean, we just saw Gojo dying. Uh, another thing that I might bring up that maybe if I called it correctly, I'll be like, well, I called it is that we did see that you know gojo got split in half and to be fair like if i had to bet on this i think he's 99 percent you know certainly dead but I, in the back of my mind when i saw that scene i was like is he gonna do a netero from hunter hunter and if you guys don't know what i'm talking about it's like netero he like cuts his own blood circulation so like he doesn't bleed out so imagine if gojo he's still alive and this the mad lad that he is you know he's still breathing and surviving with like half a torso like he just makes it so like you know the 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 bleeding stops and he got, comes back up and attacks you know uh sakuna or something like that i highly doubt that's gonna happen that's like super you know fantasy realm that that happens but if it were to happen i would have been like i called it i knew he was uh, dead but let's, realistically he's dead but my like i said my big takeaway is that now i'm questioning what's gonna happen in the story because Gege has been cooking for the last like 30 chapters or so specifically ever since you know Megumi got taken over by Sukuna and I'm really curious to see where the story goes because now Gojo's dead Superman's dead and who's gonna step up to you know protect the, the earth um because the the players that we do have that are still active that could make a big difference are Yuta and Hakari and those are the keys if either of them die without defeating Kenjaku or Sukuna, like it really nerves the good guys because now they would be at such a big disadvantage, it wouldn't be fair. And I know Juji will play an integral, integral, integ uh, I think that Juji will play a very important role uh, in the story, obviously is the MC and I think he will take the W, but now I'm very curious in how he will take the W, you know what I mean? But with all that being said, what did you guys think about these crazy spoilers and leaks of, you know, Jutsu Kaisen chapter two, 36 and what do you guys think will happen going forward in the story you know as well as let me know in the comment section down below do you guys think that gojo's really dead do you think that you know he will come back or or maybe just to let me know how do you guys think they're gonna defeat genjaku and you know sukuna because now these two are in the lose and it seems like they're unstoppable but with all that being said thank you guys so much for sticking all the way to the end of the video i really appreciate it and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Jujutsu Kaisen as well as more anime and manga content in the near future. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.